The topic is the meditational deity Kala Chakra. Kala Chakra is, uh, belongs to the fourth and highest level of uh, Tantra in uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhism. And he is also <clears throat> generally equal to other deities such as He Vajra, Chakra Sambara, Guya Samaja, Vajra Bhairava, Vajra Kila, uh, like that. So he's the fourth level. He's a major meditational deity. He, he has uh, some unique features. He's uh, four-faced, 24-armed, two-legged, two -legged, and he has a consort, consort Vishvamata, also has four faces and then eight arms. Now, uh, she is yellow in color, the consort, but uh, Kala Chakra himself is, his main face is blue, his other faces are red, white, and uh, yellow, but his arms are different colors. The first, the first uh, group of arms, eight arms, are blue, the middle group are red, and the upper group are white. So, so this is a very um, strange kind of, of thing, having a mixed colored uh, deities. Uh, the earliest, I think, of mixed colored deities come out of the, out of the Chakrasambara cycle of Tantra, Zavadradaka. Uh, but but this is a, a later tantra, the Kala Chakra. So uh, Kala Chakra also on the hands has different colors, and the knuckles of the fingers have different colors. Now all of this plays into the metaphor of Kala Chakra, which is is time, uh, uh, time, astronomy, astrology, all of that, and uh, so. All of these different colors play a function in the mnemonic system that uh, Kala Chakra represents uh, within the tantric theory of uh, the meditational deity Kala Chakra. Now, an interesting thing about the Kala Chakra is we really don't see uh, him and Vishwamata in early art. Now, now, mind you, we do have an absolutely wonderful scroll work painting from likely the 1300s, uh, and the central figure is Kala Chakra, and then all of the fig secondary figures around are the remaining deities from the text, the Vajravali of Abhayakara Gupta, which is... Uh, an 11th century text. Now, we really don't see uh, very many paintings. We see some murals, um, Chotsang in uh, Mustang, maybe around 1350s. Then we have Drotsang Dorje Chang outside of um, Shining near, near between Kumbum and Labrang Monastery in Amdo. And that we can say is circa 1400. We have uh, a scrollwork painting that is likely early 1400, so early 15th century. Then we have Gyanse Kumbum, where we have a large uh, uh, mural painting, roughly 1437, somewhere in there. And then we have Gonkar Chodea, a large mural in the, in the Lamdre Lakang on the upper floor. Uh, and that's roughly 1460, 1470. So, so we really don't have a lot of early painting of Kala Chakra. Uh, and also we have very few uh, images of Kala Chakra as secondary figures in other early paintings. In terms of sculpture, it's possible we have one sculpture that is 14th century. Otherwise, the majority of early sculpture are all 15th century and, and are mostly associated with the Shalu Monastery. As we know, the two main centers that made Kala Chakra uh, an, Im the important an, an important meditational deity are Jonang Monastery of Dolpopa and then uh, uh, Shalu Monastery of Bhutan Tamchi Kemp uh, Rinchen Drup. So really, Kala Chakra is a, is a kind of, a, of an odd kind of meditational deity where we have it in literature early on, you know, from, from the 11th and uh, 12th, 13th century, we have it in literature, but we really don't have, have a lot of early art for Kala Chakra.